Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Man at YouTube with a, another model video. Today we're going to be building, uh, reviewing and playing around with the Plastic Soldier M4 kit. Uh, this was an in-between project where I was moving studios and was attempting to build up enough of a catalogue to have uh, streamlined videos uploaded every week. Among everything being packed up including my uh, tools, I found a plastic bag with this loose amount of runners. Uh, this M4 kit comes with five runners to make five tanks with enough parts to make a fair amount of variants and types. Is a picture of uh, what would look like proper. Looking at Googled instructions, the box art and what the runner looks like, I was able to piece enough parts together to finish off in creating a tank. Uh, what happened was me and a group of friends at a club meeting has purchased uh, this model and split it to salvage parts for Mechamasume builds or any other purpose. At a retail around 20 to $30 dollars and five 15 mil one 100 scale you're able to snap and glue together a mass amount of armor to build an army for diorama purposes or loose war gaming using various sets of uh, known and community rules across the internet and other societies this is where I've come across a few lessons in patience, not running, and not being overly focused on social media and YouTube in needing to get weekly content out to build the perfect model to create enough content for looking at views, growing channels, all the sort of stuff where uh, content creators are chasing clout and just uh, flipping content, utilizing just some scrappy runners to flip a video was not very uh, honest and generous of me in sharing content on this uh, channel and it bit me in the ass from the first step of chasing these runners together all the way to the many mishaps I definitely had with this project and in the documentation of this video. In the end it bent me out and I decided to throw this video together in teaching myself and showing that the perfect project does not necessarily come together when you're constantly on the grind and constantly creating content and model kits. In the way of Plastic Soldier Company and the model itself. It is an excellent model. There's a lot of beautiful parts. It glues together. The proportions are nice. It was a fun build and it's a good model. Definitely recommend it if uh, that's your scale. It uh, definitely isn't for me, but it's just a nice break to take in playing with a different scale and sharing a different type of model to my armor viewers. What I did have definitely uh, trouble with once I put enough parts together, uh, forced the putty, the glue and prime. The first paint scheme, having a look on Google, uh, researching and downloading schemes from uh, Decal Instructions and uh, World War II schemes and other model projects. I matched up some paint quite beautifully, uh, laid multiple layers of uh, Mr. Hobby lacquers. Uh, utilizing the latex mask I recently made a tutorial on and just had this really nice ideal scheme a few 1 100 uh, decals that I usually uh, utilize for uh, Gundam and uh, insignias from there that was ideal for the English scheme and it just uh, popped out absolutely wonderfully and beautifully in the uh, experimental uh, feel and uh, trend of piling up as many videos as possible and doing tutorials and whatnot I pulled out a uh, wash by Army Painter and wanting to get the model done that night to take photos it horribly and terribly crackled to the point where the clear coat was rolling into itself and making the illusion of this uh, paint flaking and peeling off. Normally done in a controlled weathering method would absolutely look fantastic and wonderful but not what I wanted on this cleaner African front desert scheme with a tight 
camouflage tiger pattern. Uh, this discouraged me immediately, dunked it in a jar of bleach and that oil coating of wash and layers of lacquer paint was not flaking off or stripping under any means necessary. This was frustrating that I couldn't get a clean strip of paint off this surface which most of the time the bleach stripping method works. At this time it uh, didn't. And the model just being absolutely terrible and unusable in taking photos and sharing it or even making a review of uh, this video along. After a bit I pulled it out and utilizing a bottle of brake fluid gifted to me by Super Cheap Auto for making videos featuring their product. Made quick work of stripping the paint off and going to back in a near bare plastic state with a little bit of remnant of primer in the corners and edges instead of going for a second soak and polishing everything off with sandpaper and a good wash and scrub the gun also snapped off at some stage of the storage in the bleach a new barrel was glued in and hit the airbrush bench immediately in a single session of a few hours to airbrush downloaded a second picture of a Canadian or another English scheme pulled out paints uh, without much thought straight from the uh, tub and didn't get quite the right tone of uh, colors that I've uh, wished still utilize the liquid mask which gave a beautiful pattern but the tone wasn't exactly sitting with me uh, maybe going for generic art colors over some of the drab and proper olive colors that I've have set away for my military kits. There were also some decals uh, set aside, uh, stuck them on, and it kind of looked like a tank that I would have uh, painted uh, five, seven years ago. It was a, a bit flat, not so inspiring. Sat on the bench for another two weeks, uh, painted the detail, and uh, just did not get excited enough to wash top coat and share on social media. I tried to jazz it up a bit by applying a coat of a little liquid smoke in the wheel wells and the sides and then darkening it further with a clear brown to dirt it up and it ended up looking more uh, darkened and almost like a uh, vintage toy slightly obstructing the uh, decals. At this stage it's definitely uh, interesting and kind of cool if it was just a quick build and paint in one day but the amount of uh, days and hours spent on uh, this when I did a much finer job previously and scrapping the parts together and sitting on my bench for almost six months it definitely proves that I did not have fun with this build I did not like this build I'm not happy how it uh, turned out it was built with the pure intention of it's another build I can use this as backlog for my channel to have a weekly upload to keep the analytics rolling and it has definitely uh, punished me as someone who's creative and like to have fun in the hobby of chasing what I should not have been chasing in the first place and being more true or even better yet taking a break and missing out on making content altogether. The numbers of the views, the likes, the popularity, the comments is not necessarily what's the most important thing but the quality of the videos that you put out and the occasional interaction you do have with people on the internet who are truly uh, helped or moved by a tutorial or who is impacted by a piece of work you spent uh, weeks or months to to inspire them or want to uh, model or enter the hobby or even purchase the uh, kit for yourself and being honest in the construction of the video and putting your feelings out there and uh, just bouncing it in a positive way in the community opposed to ad revenue uh, clicks popularity uh, every time I look at this uh, build and reflect back in this uh, video I'm gonna have to remember to be uh, true to myself for sure in the end 
I got my video. I have definitely uh, laid myself a bear and talked about things I don't normally or necessarily share on this channel, and it is definitely and surely uh, embarrassing. And thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, I hope uh, other creators who just build models for the fun of it and just get burnt out or do not enjoy necessarily good build or just make terrible art, we make good art, we make terrible art, as my good friend uh, Akemi does say. And I still think it's important to share looking back now. I'm kind of glad I've done so. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, stay tuned for more content, including the bad ones. Check out all the social media links down below. And we'll see you later.